Welcome to the instructional assembly video for the 2026 edition of the Basic Textile Swatch Kit. The kit is designed to be studied as you build on textile concepts throughout your course from fiber to die print method. It can be used alone or paired with any textiles textbook. Your kit includes a binder, fabric identification key, unless you attend a school that requires it to be removed, mounting sheets, a swatch bundle, stitch counter, pen, and tape. The swatches are packaged in the order that they are to be mounted, from 1 to 126. Some fabrics stick together and lead you to believe that you are missing swatches. We make note of these throughout the video, so please be aware and pay close attention to the front and back of the swatches as you mount them. Before we begin mounting, I would like to point out some tips that will help you as you assemble the kit. Most of you will have your fabric identification key with your kit. You can verify that you have the correct edition by checking the copyright date in the lower left hand corner of the first page. You can also verify the edition by noting the color difference of the top swatch. The top swatch in the 2026 edition is green whereas all older editions of the basic textile swatch kit have a blue top swatch. The front page of the fabric identification key includes assembly instructions. In this section, we discuss the C numbers. These are there for cross-referencing swatches in different sections of the kit to highlight various textile concepts. Skip over these references when mounting the swatches. As you learn textile concepts, you can go back and record information found in these references. The swatches are packaged with the face up. As you mount the swatches, be sure to mount them correctly. Some fabrics do not have a technical face or back like this one, while others do have a technical face and back like this one. As you watch the video, you may come across a fabric that is a different color than the one you are mounting. You can go to the mounted swatches section on the home page and see the different color choices for that fabric there. If you have any questions after watching this video, please reach out to us using the information on the bottom of the screen. We are also available to help through FaceTime, Zoom, or a phone call. You can also visit the mounted swatches section on our home page for additional help in mounting the swatches. We are ready to begin mounting. For the purpose of this video, we will only tape the first six swatches so that you can see how to tape them. For the rest of the video, we will just lay them down to save time. When you flip the mounting sheet over to mount the swatches on the back, be sure that you have not picked up two sheets by mistake. Also, be careful when taping the swatches across the top. Do not let the tape go over the edge of the mounting sheet. This information will keep you from having to go back and retape swatches on the correct pages. <laughs> 